Bismillahir Rahman Rahim and good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the of the press. These are press statements by the Muslim organizations that include the Jamia Mosque uh, Committee, the Supreme Council of Kenya Muslims, the National Muslim Leaders Forum, Council of Imams and Preachers of Kenya, Kenya Association of Medical of Muslim Medical Practitioners and and leaders, Imams from different mosques in Nairobi. As we are all aware, Gaza is in the midst of the harrowing humanitarian disaster, the like of which has never been seen in the, in the century. What we are witnessing is not just a crisis, it is a massacre of human dignity, a brutal assault on every essence of life. The images we see, the stories we hear, are enough to break the hardest of hearts. The relentless bombings, the suffocating blockades, the helpless cries of children, mothers and fathers, the cries of those who are not just struggling to live, but fighting to stay alive every single second. Hospitals, what few remain standing, are overwhelmed, collapsing under the weight of the countless injured and dying. Families are being torn apart, their dreams are being shattered. More than 42,000 people have been killed in the, re in the relentless bombing campaign by Israel, which has virtually disseminated the whole of the Gaza Strip, with many of the victims being innocent women and children. Almost the whole population of Gaza, more than two million people have been displaced by the conflict, which has been ranging on for the past year. With Israel cutting off the enclave from the rest of the world and restricting the entry of food and other much needed humanitarian supply, most of the people of Gaza are living under the threat of starvation and are in need of urgent relief. Kenyans, like other people from around the world, have been responding to the plight of the people of Gaza and have in the past raised more than 50 million Kenya shillings to assist humanitarian efforts in Gaza. As we are all aware, thousands of people of Gaza are nursing severe injuries as a result of the incensed bombing campaign by Israel. Very few hospitals in Gaza are functioning in the enclave and many injured people have been transferred to receive treatment in the neighboring countries. The voice of Palestinians is working with international recognized agencies to help the people of Gaza receive medical treatment in and around the enclave. Through this initiative, we hope to raise at least 500,000 US dollars towards the Gaza medical campaign. For your information, uh, Voice of, for Voices of Palestine is a local initiative by Muslim leaders to try to make a contribution or to support the ongoing uh, crisis in, in Palestine. The Israeli attack on Gaza has unfortunately spread over to, uh, over to Lebanon, where it is facing daily attacks with, which have killed more than 1,000 people and led to massive destruction and displacement of thousands of people. As the world stands of the age of potential eruption of full-fledged war in the Middle East, we call upon the Kenyan government to join the global efforts to call for peace and stability in the region and end the carnage in Gaza and Lebanon. Kenya is known for its role in fostering peace, and this was seen notably in South Sudan and other African countries where our country tirelessly worked to achieve peace and stability. Moreover, Kenya, like Palestine, has lived through a harrowing tale of colonial oppression where thousands of Kenyans were forced to live in concentration camps and massacred for fighting for freedom. In, accord in accordance with the African Charter, the government should not relent in its efforts to support the people of Palestine towards achieving freedom. It is our call on the government of Kenya to stand for fairness and justice for the people of Palestine and use its influential role to push for an end of the genocide of the people of Palestine and see to it that their inalienable rights to exist and live in peace and harmony like other people around the world is attained. As we launch this campaign, we call upon Kenyans from the diverse backgrounds to join the effort to support the medical needs of the people of Palestine. Support can be made through MPESA pay bill number 1507770, account Gaza Medical. The statement is signed by the Supreme Council of Kenya Muslims, Council of Imams and Preachers of Kenya, Kenya Muslim Medical Practitioners, Voice of Palestine, and Jamia Mosque Committee.
Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Chairman. Do we have any questions? Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, you, my name is Vincent. You need a microphone? No. Yeah, you, you're okay? No, no, okay. Yeah. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Vincent. Welcome. Yeah, it's now one year down the line since the Israel invaded Gaza. No. That matter. Yes. And the Kenya government has been very quiet. No. It's your message that the President of the Republic of Kenya mm -hmm. to call upon this You want to answer? Or yeah, I can. I, uh, yeah, actually, I think the statement is quite clear. This particular statement is actually calling upon Kenya. And when you talk about the country, you're basically talking about His Excellency the President, uh, Dr. William Ruto, that to use his position, his influential position, to advocate for peace and stability in Palestine. It is a call that we are calling not only him, but even the entire leadership in Africa, that we want to see the voices of reason uh, in the center state to ensure that we, we, we safeguard the children of Israel, the, the, the children of Palestine, who have been facing a lot of challenges, as we have seen actually uh, happening globally. And if you can add, you can add. Um, yeah. What would be a direct message to Benjamin Netanyahu now that he's the one who is shooting this war? What would be a direct message to Israel? I'm sure. Do you want to add uh, to say can, something? Yeah, you can say something. Uh, this, this is a... This is a message to... In answering your question, this is a direct message to Benjamin Netanyahu. We all know that our Creator has made killing illegal. We urge the Kenyan government, specifically our President William Ruto, that all life is sacred. Enough of the killing. Enough of the killing. How many people have to die? How many children have to lose their lives? How many women have to suffer? So we are urging the Israeli government, enough of the killing, enough of the torture. No piece of land is more sacred than the death of thousands. It is unacceptable. Enough of the killing. Let's stop the killing. Uh, I will leave Chairman to answer the question, the first question. Yeah, I've totally done. If there is any other question. Others, thank you very much for your time. My name is Kasim from Horizon TV. Since the inception of uh, Voices of Palestine, it's been a year now. You've been raising money, you see, so many many so many How much have you raised today, and how have it helped the people of Palestine? Uh, for those Kenyans and Africans who are listening to us, we've raised over 50 million Kenya shillings, and that money has been used to help uh, in terms of food aid to the thousands who are starving. We've went ahead. Now we are raising funds for, for medical. You are all aware. You can see in the news, you can see in the media. Children, <coughs> women, mothers are suffering. We've given humanitarian aid for, for the last one year. We've delivered food through international agencies, uh, one of it being Al Khair Foundation. We've delivered food aid through Alimdad, uh, which is an organization in South Africa. And today we'll be launching the medical aid. We've realized that the humanitarian crisis is dire. We need to provide medicines and get doctors in to assist the thousands who are suffering in Gaza. 
So that is why we are launching this campaign. We call all Kenyans. We know Kenyans to be people of peace, people of kindness, and people of religion. This is the time we rally Kenyans to stand in solidarity and say enough of the killing. We need peace. The killing is, is, is unbearable. So we are raising funds for medical, and inshallah, once we reach our target, we'll have uh, the, the, the funds being sent there so that we can buy medicine for the, for the thousands who are suffering. launch and then from there we will uh, close the session for prayers. Thank you.